Hey everyone, for this tutorial we're going to go through how to use circle crop in BioRender. So why would you use circle crop? Um, it actually mimics a nice microscope viewport. Um, it also helps to save space. It focuses the viewer's attention to a particular area of your image. And it also cleans up the edges of an icon if it's a repeating structure like this. So let's get started. Um, you can see that I have an icon. It's actually a grouped icon, so you can crop uh, really anything in BioRender, even if it's a group. Um, I'm going to actually look for a zoom pre-made icon here. Um, I'm going to use this. And this is great. This is going to create a bit of a viewport for us and a guide inside which we'd like to crop this icon into. So that's a great starting point. Um, I'm going to select the icon that I want to crop navigate up here to the crop button and you'll see here I have two options I have rectangle crop and circle crop so I'm gonna go ahead and try circle crop and then using these green nodes I can kind of adjust to fit I can you know zoom in to make sure that my edges are straight and clean and now these edges might look a little different, the controls, uh, depending on what version of BioRender we're, we're on, but um, it should look pretty similar. I'm going to click Apply Crop. And I've got a nice clean edge to that, and I'm going to zoom out just to see the full picture. Great. Uh, and I can also undo that by double-clicking in and um, you know modifying the inside of that object, if you like. It's always editable and then double click out. Of course you can cancel the crop by hitting reset and that's going to undo the crop. Great. Uh, and now there's a couple of other ways you can use crop of course, maybe showing cell to cell interactions. You can get pretty complicated showing animal models in an um, in instrument setup. So try it out. That's the circle crop function and we'd love to see what you create. 